Okay, so today, why am I playing a beat up guitar with strings that have probably been on here maybe since the fifth, late 50s or early 60s? Well, this guitar has a story. Um, it's a Framus made in Germany and it was purchased from you in 1955. And the reason I know that is because the person who purchased it has given me this guitar. And it's no ordinary musician because this was a gift to me from my friend and musical band leader, uh, the great jazz composer Mike Westbrook. He actually bought this guitar in 1955 when he went to do his national service. And up until that point, I didn't even know Mike ever played the guitar. And he just bought it because he just had, wanted something to mess around with while he was writing and coming up with ideas and things and so he gave me this guitar now it's a sort of parlor size guitar i would say um not quite three quarter size it looks slightly bigger than that to me but i don't know how it comes across on the video but even with these old strings this has got a really really lovely tone <laughs> You know, I, I've just messing around with it for the last 10 minutes. I think this guitar sounds great. Now, it's, as I said, it's never been restrung or anything. Um, you know, it needs a clean, it's, it needs a little bit of work doing to it. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do a few basic repairs. It's not a full restoration or anything. I'm just going to do a few basic repairs, put a new set of strings on it, and then we'll see how it sounds. The main problem with this guitar is this split along here. Um, this is obviously where over time it's just the glues come out and whatever, and uh, it's just come apart. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna put some glue in it. I mean, you know, guitar luthiers are probably gonna be having a fit now, but I'm just gonna stick some ordinary PVA wood glue in there. Um, I'll put some pads either side and I will then clamp it together. And as if by magic, I've now glued and clamped the guitar. It seems to look reasonably okay, and I'll leave that for 24, 48 hours, and then we'll have another look at it. I'm shooting this all handheld, just because it's slightly easier for what I want to do. And you can see here, after I glued it and removed the clamp, that this is actually sealed up quite well. And I think, to be fair, that's probably gonna last a fair while. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with all of that. Let's have a look at the rest of the guitar. As we look at the bridge, uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. It probably just needs a clean or a polish, and it's, it's quite rusty. We might be able to clean that up a bit, but I'm not overly worried about that. The bridge itself, that seems uh, pretty intact and okay. And we'll just look at the headstock. We got the original machine heads on this guitar. Now, if this was a guitar that I was going to use for gigging or something, I might consider changing them. But as it is, I want to keep them original. I think what I'll do is I'll take them off, give them a clean and a polish, and then pop them back on. And that's really all I'm going to do with this guitar. If you look at it, you can see it's for its age, it's in remarkably good condition. And I think all I really need to do with this guitar is to just give it a good clean and put a new set of strings on it. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here it is. Um, new set of strings on the guitar. Gave it a basic clean up, and I've done nothing else really to it. I've given it a polish, a dust over. I tightened up a few of the screws on the machine heads, but other than that, this is it. Um, I did a bit of research on the guitar. It turns out it's called a Framus Sport, and on the Framus website that I found, they're listed as being from the later 50s, although Mike said he got this in 1955. 
So it said from about 1957, I think. So this is probably one of the earliest examples of that particular guitar. And I gotta say, it's got a great sound. I mean, the action's a little bit high, um, but you know, that could be dealt with. I mean, you could lower this a bit, maybe chop a bit off the bottom of the bridge. Although I wouldn't really want to alter this because it's, it's all original. So I don't know, if I wanna lower the action, maybe I'll get another bridge made and just replace it and keep the other one safe. But other than that, <laughs> You know, it's a great little guitar. you'd have this guitar at the time and you were in a and you were in a skiffle band or something I mean this this would just have been perfect you know I mean I'm sure Kane Collier or any of his uh, band would have loved having this guitar so uh, yeah anyway thank you Mike Westbrook this is a really lovely instrument I can't help thinking this may well end up on a future Westbrook recording or we we'll use it in a concert or do something with it because, you know, it's just got so much history. The fact this went on national service and that <coughs> Mike kept it with the band and, you know, used to chuck it in his on the tour bus and, you know, if he had an idea or something, he might just take it out and play a little melody or something and write it down, I think. You know, it's great. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, if you do, please like and subscribe um, because there's always new stuff coming along. But uh, for now, that's it.